Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the fate map of Blastula frog. In last class, we have discussed how there is a Blastula or formation of Blastula in frog. During blastulation, there are the larger cells towards the vegetal pole that we call it as a megamere's, and the smaller cells that are towards the animal pole that we call it as a micromeres. Now, what is the fate map? The fate map is simply a topographical surface mapping of the blastula with respect to the ultimate fate of various areas. Under conditions of normal development, the ectoderm of frog is derived from the cells of the animal hemisphere and in part from intermediate or equatorial plate cells. And these are the regions on the plate map designated as a presumptive ectoderm. Means here the ectoderm is formed or derived from the cells which are towards the animal hemisphere and some cells from the equatorial plate. Then next layer that is the endoderm. And the endoderm comes partly from the intermediate zone but largely from the vegetal hemisphere area. And the presumptive endoderm on the plate map that especially its maximum area from the vegetal hemisphere area and some from the intermediate zone. The remaining the third layer that is the mesodermal layer. The mesoderm and the notochord have a dual origin arising in between the ectoderm and endoderm largely from the region as the lips of the blastoma. So, if you observe this area or this uh, area, this is the posterior, this is the vegetal pole, and this is the animal pole. This the area which is towards the vegetal pole that is going to form the endoderm, and which is towards the animal pole that is going to form the ectoderm. Ectodermal area that comprises of the this the cells from the animal pole along with the some from the equatorial plates. Then the endoderm, it having the maximum cells from the this vegetal pole and some from the this intermediate zone. So this is the ectodermal area and that give rise to here the word the this area it give rise to the lenses, then the ear then the head region, this is the noto, this central area that is going to form the notochord. This area which is toward, this is the blastopore, this is the anterior limb bud and these are the mesodermal area and this is the endoderm. So, in this uh, pet map or this is a pet map of the genopus blastula or the frog blastula, this is a blastopore and uh, this is the uh, region towards the what the uh, vegetal pole and it having the endodermal area this is the subblastoporal endoderm miss the area which is below the blastopore then the area this is the suprablastoporal endoderm which is above the blastopore and this is the neural plate region and this is the epidermal region and this area, it is going to form the what? The ectodermal area. This is the endodermal area. And this lateral plate mesoderm, this is the mesodermal area. So, this is the fate map of the blastula of the frog. If you observe that, this is the presumptive epidermis. This is the presumptive neural system. This is the presumptive notochord. Then, this is the blastopolar leaf. Then, this is the presumptive endodermal region this is a hypo uh, below the, the what the <coughs> blastopore leaf this is a supra blastopore endodermal area and this is the lateroventral mesodermal area 
so this is the fate map of the what the frog blastula this is the frog blastula and uh, this region from where the the cells are migrating toward the inner side and that is the what blastoma so this is the fat map of the genocus blastula or the frog blastula where the this mesoderm endoderm and the, what the ectoderm are formed and they their fate is decided if you observe the this fate they see the ectoderm what it gives rise to it gives rise to the skin brain spinal cord all other neurons and sense receptor the area which is towards the what the animal hemisphere with this is going to form this and the, the mesodermal area it is going to form the notochord muscles blood bone and the sex organ while the endodermal area it forms the inner lining of gut liver pancreas inner lining of the lungs then inner lining of the bladder thyroid parathyroid and the thymus so this is the blastulation thank you